Hi guys, happy Monday and welcome to OST 2335 and uh, this is Miss Curry and hopefully um, you guys have already watched the little welcome video that I had on your announcement and you are now linking over to find out what's involved with these first couple of weeks and what is the whole big deal with teens. So um, let me go ahead and click into your online course and hopefully you're seeing that. So a couple things I wanna talk about. Um, first of all, if I just wanna say how happy I am to be your instructor and what a great little course this is. Um, this is an optimum on my iPad right now, so you're not seeing the full layout, but this is a really great course. Um, obviously, it's a, the core is communications, rather that's written, which is where we'll spend most of our time, building those grammar muscles so that we're writing better. Business writing is a whole different thing than a lot of other academic writing. This is not always about word count. This is actually a lot of times about being more concise, more clear, time is money. And so you'll see there are some differences and hopefully by the time we get to the end of this semester, you'll find that you have really honed in on a lot of soft skills, not just um, not just communication skills, but uh, a variety of different soft skills. So I've taught this for a number of semesters and um, we've done a few upgrades to it, which is why some of the confusion today, as mentioned earlier on the announcement video, but hopefully we're catching most of those glitches now. A um, few things you wanna notice on the homepage, there is a down link, download link to the uh, syllabus. Feel free to download that if you'd like and print it. You don't have to print it. It will stay there for the entirety of the semester. My door schedule is there. Um, as way, well as some technical support help and getting started with business communications. I want you to always go in through modules. If you'll notice, I don't even have assignments turned on for you guys. A lot of times that causes trouble, especially with grades rolling over from Cengage. So you need to always connect through modules. So every time you log in, you're gonna log in and go to modules and you're gonna work your th way through week by week. The first couple of modules are not actually week modules. This first one is just helping you get started with Cengage and MindTap. If you have any questions about that, um, obviously you can give me a call um, at my number, 897-0002. You can email me, but we do have technical support that's right at our fingertips. There's numbers to call. They're actually doing sessions for the first, I think, 48 or 72 hours of classes this week um, where they'll do one-on-one -on -one and they'll Zoom with you where they can take over your screen and kind of help maneuver you through. Uh, so if you're having any trouble, once I kind of explain how to do that in just a minute, please um, give a call to um, some tech support or give a call to me and we'll get you through that. Um, the easiest way you're gonna find to link this course, this Canvas course with your products, your Cengage products, is have your access code ready and actually click on that first homework assignment that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. And when you do, it will prompt you to put in that access code and once you do that, you should have no trouble rolling into those assignments from here on out. Um, so I'll remind you of that again in just a little bit. Um, you do have an APA project that's gonna be due at the end, towards the end of the semester. Um, we're gonna work on that. Please think of it as just a small APA project. Do not become overwhelmed. It is only 10% of your grade, um, but it is a great introduction to just learning what APA format is all about. Um, we used to do this as teams. This will be done individually now, and we'll talk a lot more about this next week and the week after. Um, but there is one module here. It's also put and in, in, um, sprinkled through the uh, Canvas course, but I wanted to, in the other modules, but I wanted to make sure there was kind of a one-stop module right here for you to be able to access all things APA. Now we get to week one. And um, you'll see there it says, let's get started. So there is first some information here about um, business communications. And basically what will happen is each week um, we will have kind of a, um, a, a kickoff. Now this week I'm only going to assign work, but next week I'll try to post a video for you. It'll kind of just be a highlights of chapter one that you can go back um, and kind of watch as a um, kind of a mini lecture. Um, and then you get started on the next one. So it's nice for you to read the chapter and do some activities before we actually do a quote unquote lecture. I know we're not in class together, but before you watch that lecture so that um, you'll kind of know a little bit more about what's going on and you can better handle the activities. 
Um, so just so you know, that that's what's happening here. And then let's head back, and I want you to see how it looks overall from modules. So we'll go back here. Um, this grammar and mechanics pre-course diagnostic, that is one of the things I'm using for your attendance verification. Nobody has trouble saying, oh, I have trouble with math or I'm not so great at math. Um, but a lot of people have trouble admitting I'm not a great writer. I don't do well with the English language. We all just kind of assume we do okay. Um, and so until you realize I need help with grammar, a lot of times um, you don't see the need. And so here is a diagnostic test, really not just for me to kind of see where everybody is, but for you yourself to see kind of where you are. And then we're going to build those muscles with our business English mind tap. And then we get to what we actually need to do. So you do have this grammar and mechanics pre-course diagnostic. I'm not counting it as homework, but you do have to do it for attendance verification. I'm also going to be looking to make sure you do this team information, and I'll jump back to that in just a second. And then here are your first two assignments um, using the products that go with Cengage. So the first one is from uh, what we would call product and process. This is the chapter one. Uh, of the text. This is our main text and it's going to have you do um, some um, some questions for that. Pretty much everything you do when you link over to MindTap or uh, to Cengage is um, it gives you multiple chances. Um, so you will do that and this is one of these two assignments that you can click to put in that access code. And so if you'll click one of these two assignments, click over, it's gonna prompt you for that access code. You do not have to buy multiple access codes. That's the beauty of Cengage Unlimited. You can access multiple products and books. And so we're using three. Um, and so these two, and then that bottom one there is that business English mind tap. That's all about grammar. In this particular case for this week, we're talking about sentences, specifically elements of a sentence, sentence variety, sentence patterns, different types and different faults. Okay, so that being said, the other thing I want to make sure that I mention, and I'm trying to be mindful of time, is that um, occasionally I will ask you to get with teams. Um, one of the biggest parts of this course is knowing how to work with teams. We have found out over the course of the last five, six years or so that uh, companies, organizations are really pushing the use of teams. They're finding that they're more productive, more efficient, and less time. Um, there are more options that come to the table, more points of view. And so um, businesses and organizations are, are coming back to colleges and saying, we can teach them these things, but we need you to teach them those soft skills. And one of those that we're really wanting to see developed is team skills and the ability to work well with a team or the ability to lead a team. And so that is embedded in this text. It's also embedded in this course. And so because we don't do the APA paper anymore as a, a team, and you're probably whether you know it or not, should be thankful for that. Um, we will be doing some discussion things each week. So you'll need to be able to, via Canvas or via Zoom, get with your group sometime that week and toss around some ideas. A lot of times it'll be like one of the thought discussions, I think for next week you'll see down there is let's chat about it, computer technology. So you'll get with your group or a couple members from your group and you'll say, hey, how do you feel about technology? How long are you on your devices? Do you feel like we use it? The questions will be listed there to kind of discuss. And then you're able to answer in a text box, answer back to me, got with my group, I talked to Shay and to Dina, and we all agree that da 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 da, turn in that text box, okay? So to do that, you have to join a team. And so um, the easiest way to do that, and you're gonna have to fill out this team information, who's on your team, who did you make the team leader, what's your Patriot email address, who else in your team, and how are you gonna commute, communicate? Is that gonna be via Zoom? Is that gonna be just through the Canvas email app? Is it going to be via phone? Is it gonna be text? Is it gonna be Microsoft 365? Is it gonna be uh, multiple ways? So you're gonna put that. But the best way to sign up for a team is on the left-hand side, you'll see all of these tabs in blue. You're gonna to wanna to click that People's tab. I can't click mine because I don't want everyone's information coming up because I show a little more information than what you guys do. But you're gonna click the People tab that's over here on the left-hand side for you guys. It should be where you can view it now. Mine's down here towards the bottom, right above Assignments. And then you'll see a thing for group projects or projects or teams. You want to get to the tab that says activity teams. 
and then you can sign up for a team. Doesn't matter who, if you know other people in the course, you might ask them to be in the same team as you. Um, but I think I have it limited to about four people in each team, and I think there are seven teams. So once you sign up, then you can email through the, the Canvas app, talk to your teammates, find out how you guys wanna communicate, and then answer these five quick questions. Um, either in a text uh, text box here or you can type it up on Word and then submit it, okay? So that is that and that should pretty much get you through week one. Again, this is all information you need for Cengage. This is all information we'll get back to in the next week or two about your APA project, but that's not something to focus on this week. And then week one, we're getting started. Read through this information. Take your pre-course diagno diagnostic uh, test there for your grammar, put in your team information, and then you have two quick, um, fairly quick assignments there working both through MindTap. One uh, is really um, working around the chapter, chapter one, and the other is working around uh, grammar, which there is information in this business English um, to look at before you do that MindTap assignment. You get multiple chances at it. Um, if you still have questions, and then we'll work our way through week two, but hopefully now you kind of see the way it's set up, um, and I'll put another video up hopefully next week. Um, but if you watch this video and you're still like, I just totally don't get it, please give me an email, give me a call, that's my job, reach out to me. Um, you can get my information over on your syllabus, um, or uh, which is on that homepage, that download link, or call me 897-0002 and let me know. We can Zoom together, we can do a phone call, whatever it takes to make sure that you have a good foundation and you understand what's going on for this first week. So excited to have you in the course. Let me know if you need any extra help.